To this video today I have a skincare routine video uh, this video has been requested by one of my subscribers Merna Ali she requested me to do a skincare routine video uh, I first I want to talk about how my skin looked before um, two months ago my skin was really bad uh, it was full of acne and red and redness all over it it was really oily and bad you know I am 14 years old so in this age you you get pimples, acne and things uh, so I decided to put a really nice skincare routine to stop this from happening and make my skin much more softer and nicer so yep and that's what I did and now my skin got a lot 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 better it's not the best of course right now but it's getting better and better and it's become the best uh, as much as I go with a skincare routine that's well and nice uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. First thing we got here is the products I use and Second thing we are gonna also talk about is the Facial face steamer. This made also a really great change in my skin. This is for sauna facial uh, For face steaming, you know, it's really nice. We're gonna talk about them First thing let's talk about the daily skincare routine Daily first thing I use when I wake up is this Skin Natura uh, face cleansing gel uh, it's really nice and good it's for let me tell you it's for oily skin that has acne in it so it was really good for my breakdown uh, so uh, this one I use twice or three times a day uh, the basic twice uh, the basic two times are when I wake up and before I sleep and sometimes I use it when I go out and I come back with a dusty face or an oily face or something I use it instead of using only water because it's much better See up here is the box so I can show you When you open it up like from here Get this bottle with blue gel inside it of course by the way this video is not sponsored by any of the products I'm showing you I'm just showing you my own experience with them Okay, let me show you how it looks on your hand. Okay, let me open it first. You can see it's that blue gel that you put on your face. Uh, first, first thing you do is you wet your face, then you put this gel and scrub it for about one to two minutes, and then you wash your face slightly with warm water, so it's well cleaned, and then you'll have a nice clean face without oils in it. That was it with the face cleansing gel. You twist this part to open it or close it. So I'm gonna close it. Pop it back in its box. Close it and put that to the side. Okay, second thing we're gonna talk about is the thing that I use right after I use this gel. Uh, is this cream. Oh, here it is. It's the Scaro Plus Cream. I use this also twice a day. Once in the morning after I use this gel, and once in the middle of the day, like after lunch or any time maybe. And I also use the Alka M cream. I use it right after I use this at night. So this is once uh, once a day at night before I sleep after using this. And this is twice a day, once in the morning after using this and once in the middle of the day, uh, you know, alone. Okay, let me explain each of them. First we have uh, the Scarlet cream. This one removes acne from your face and removes the, you know, the leftovers of them if you have redness or little, you know, parts in your skin that are different in color than the other um, parts. It makes them equal. It, as, uh, as I told you, like it makes the parts that had the pimples or acne in them equal in shade as the normal parts of your face. So, yep, that's it. And it actually was the basic cream that helped me during my break down on my face uh, second one as I told you is the LKM one it has nearly the same thing to do uh, but this one is much more effective and it protects you can put it after after acne are, are gone you can put it to protect acne from coming back and that's something that I want I want to protect acne from coming back again so you know those together make really great um, team I recommend using them together after this. 
so yeah let's talk about the third product uh, I use rose water as a toner to my face instead of using chemical t chemical toners or something I use something more natural more simple which is rose water let me go up like that so when do I use it uh, I don't have an like a stable times to use it I use it at least once a day uh, when my face gets a little bit oily or something and you, you don't have you don't want to overuse this so it doesn't become dangerous to your skin so I use this uh, you p bring a little piece of cotton and then you know uh, damp it with this and then put it all over your face dab 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 and it's really great and makes your face shine naturally so yeah last but not least is my lips my lips are part of my skin care routine that I should always take care of I have this little nice lip balm that's so good it smells like strawberry I have lots of it lots and lots of it I just finished one of them yesterday and this is the new one that I'm gonna be starting using today so I use this nice lip balm twice a day once after I wake up once before I sleep so it makes my lips nice and shiny fluffy and doesn't have cracks in them and soft and moist so that was it for my daily skincare routine maybe now we can talk about something that only happens uh, once every two weeks which is the facial steaming and the peel off face mask okay uh, once every two weeks I do facial steam my face uh, what are the benefits of facial steaming the benefits of it is uh, it gets rid of all the bad oils on your face it helps reduce acne blackheads and those things and if you want to use a cleansing mask or a clean or any cleansing product that you have uh, the cleansing product would have a better effect after the facial steaming but of course you should use it at uh, like don't use it every week or every two weeks you have to at least wait two weeks to use it and then wait two weeks to use it again don't use it um, weekly or something so or else it will become dangerous and make your skin irritated so yeah let me explain more about this so we know. First, what do we use in inside it? Do we use only water? Some people sometimes use only water, but it doesn't give full benefits if you use only water. So what's better to do with it? You can use water with rose water, and this is what I mostly go with, water and rose water. You mix uh, half the portion rose water, half the portion water. You can also use green tea, which is really nice. You get a packet of green tea or some herbs of green tea put them in the boiled water in here it would be so perfect you can also use um, as I know lemons you can squeeze some lemons in it you can also use lavender oil or tea tree oil those are the things that as much I know but as for now my favorite thing to use with it is the um, rose water okay let me show you the set here it is uh, I got it from Saudi Arabia you open it First thing you have is a measuring cup that I measure with water and with what I'm going to be putting. Second thing you have here, it was a wrapper, is the nose piece. This is if you only want to steam your nose to remove blackheads and don't want to steam your whole, your whole face. This piece is a useful piece for you. And this is the piece that goes in it. Let me show you. Those two pieces would come together so you pop them up like wait a second you pop that one down here like that and then and then get the nose piece and pop it in it so it can go into the base so that's it then you have the base the other the whole face piece that you use it like that if you want to use your whole face to sorry to steam your whole face okay last but not least you have the base where everything goes here is the part where you put water and rose water or whatever you're going to be using and you here even have a maximum line i'm not sure if you can see it but it's here you have a maximum line 
okay here's the temperature zero it's closed one it's kind of gentle and two to give you the full effect I mostly use two and you pop in the pieces like that as if you just put them like that lined up to to that area you can see those two areas you will line up those to those and then twist a little bit like that for your nose or if it's for your whole face you get this thingy the face one grab the base pop it in the same way and then twist a little bit in a second like that okay anyways it's preferred that while using it you put a towel over your face so the, the the steam comes to your face and doesn't like evaporate away without going into your skin okay now i want to show you how you use it you grab rose water fill it up till 30 millimeter as you can see here let me show you fill up until 30 millimeter and then grab, grab water and i fill it between the 40 and the 50 millimeter and then pour it into the base and then heat it up to two like that of course this will turn red if it's in electricity you can see you can plug it okay and then you have to wait for about two minutes until the water is fully boiled then you pop on the piece you want to use whether you want the nose one or the full face one pop it like that and put your face like that in it cover it with a towel so everything is inside no steam runs away Okay, so that was for the facial steam. After I finish uh, my facial steaming um, that I do once every two weeks, I use this. Let me show you. Here it is. I use the Bobana Charcoal Peel of Face Mask. Uh, it's really nice, it's really effective. It removes any dirt that's in the pores and it removes the blackheads. It's really nice. It even says deeply cleanses and purifies the skin while maintaining is its moisture and prevents dryness moves dirt sweat sebum dead cells and makeup for clean and healthy skin okay so this one is one of my favorite because it doesn't have much of chemicals its ingredients are char charcoal glycerin pva alcohol and methyl sodium something that i don't understand but what i know that this is one of the things that doesn't have so much chemicals so it won't really damage your skin why do i prefer to use it after i use the facial uh, steamer because as i told you after using the facial steamer the skin is soft and the pores are widely open so it's better to use any cl uh, cleansing or clarifying uh, skin mask after using the facial steamer so it, it has like a better effect so yep, yeah, as, as I told you, now let me open it to show it to you. Here it is. Here it is. That's how the ball looks. And then you can open this part up right here. Squeeze it on. Let me show you the color. It's just like a deep black. It doesn't have any other color like other than that. Like that. So after I use my facial steamer, as I told you, I apply this mask to it and after applying this mask to it i like i don't apply a really thick um, layer so it doesn't take long to dry you apply a little nice thin layer and then wait for it to dry and then peel it off and after that you rinse your face but with cold water so it closes the pores back and the pores aren't open so no dirt or oils gets in it so yep, as I told you, this is only twice a week, don't do that more than that or else your skin will become irritated because of the overness of, you know, vapors and cleansing masks that are just gonna get in it. Okay, that was it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it guys, if you did, don't forget to put, click the thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any video I upload. Uh, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy and peace out, bye!